Hi everyone, welcome back to another of my Star Citizen Science and Fine videos. Mr. V commented, I think, a few times in my previous videos. He highly recommended me to try the Scimitar 5 torpedoes. And I did. The results are more than surprising, if the server cooperates. So, in this video, I am going to take you to do another Star Citizen Science and Fun field trip, a battlefield trip. And let's check out those surprising results together. If you do love this video, please like and subscribe to help us to grow this channel. Thank you. Alright, let's hop on board and there are plenty of seats. Oh yeah, not again. Yes, as you can see, I put 8 size 5 Scimitar torpedoes. And these Scimitar 5 torpedoes are the torpedoes for the Ballista. The Ballista has 8 size 5 Scimitar and uh, 2 size 7, I think Helion, Helion 7 torpedoes. But you cannot switch those torpedoes on the Ballista. You can put a total of 8 size 5 torpedoes in the Hammerhead if you switch those missile racks. Alright, we're going to do this Group ERT mission. Accepting offer. Okay, entering our first test site. Yeah, if you don't know this, the Scimitar 5 torpedoes are EM strike torpedoes. Each torpedo will deal 16,000 hit points. I also put a TS2 quantum drive for the hammerhead. It's a lot faster. For a huge ship like this, the quantum spooling and uh, quantum traveling is a lot faster, but each TS2 is close to 100k AUEC. The lock range for the Scimitar missile torpedo actually is between 50 meters to 15 kilometers. Can you believe it? 50 meters is a minimum lock range, but I'm not gonna shoot that close. Alright, looks like this is a hurricane because at 12 kilometers we're still not able to detect it. That's a hurricane, yes. That is a hurricane. I'm gonna shoot this torpedo at 8.5 kilometers. There we go. Target locked. Fire. Tracking. So, we should still be able to see it. Oh, there we go. Hit! That's a nice explosion. Let's see what happens. Ooh, nothing happened. Maybe we hit the wrong one. No, it's the same one. Fire again. I'm gonna ignore all the missiles. Alright. Oh! He killed my torpedoes. Wow, they're chasing me really bad. Wow, they chased me out here. Crazy. Okay, so let's shoot this uh, torpedo at close range then. Scimitar ready? Fire. That's a hit. You can see it's EM is down or not. He recovered. All right, let's prepare another one. Fire. That's a kill. Beautiful. Yeah, this, this is not a good test because uh, I don't want to be the Stark in this place. So let's go to another place. Ah, it's still dark. Well, we still have four Scimitar 5 left. Let's see if we can detect this enemy in... There we go, I think this is a hammerhead. Yeah, there we go. If we can detect this enemy around 19 to 18 kilometers, it's a hammerhead. Alright, it's a little bit too far because our lock range maximum is 15 kilometers. For this hammerhead, I'm gonna prepare two Scimitar. Missile lock. It's still very dark. Um, well, let's just do this one and we, we find another mission. All right, mission, missile locked. Fire. One, two, together. There we go. You see, where the other one? Well, only see one. That's our hammerhead. What? Didn't, didn't even do anything. Okay, let's try two more. Fire. There we go. That's a hit. Okay, let's see what the hammerhead would do. It's EM. It's going down 
really bad. And you can see its head is taking damage. You know the reason is because I think we have disabled it. Two scimitar. We are able to disable it. So that's the surprising results of the scimitar torpedoes. The scimitar is not enough to kill it, but it basically disabled it. There we go. This is our enemy hammerhead. Completely disabled. Okay. Let's uh let's destroy the rest of the fighters first. Let's go to our top turret. What the why there is a gun here? Uh This is a Valkyrie. It's gonna take a little bit more to kill it. Never mind. Okay, so at this point, this hammerhead, two scimitar, it's disabled. You can either choose to use your weapon to destroy it, or you can just board it to kill the pilot. Damn it. But uh, if it's flipped, it could be a problem because it's hard to get on board the ship. If it's not flipped, then you can just call the elevator and board the ship. Let me see. Proximity alert. Head. Yeah, this one looks like it's flipped because the uh, the elevator is right here. You can see the turret trying to shoot us. It's turning to our direction, Proximity but uh, the ship is disabled by those scimitars. It's not able to. At this point, you can sell this ship to other people who want to do salvage in the server. Or you can uh, salvage it yourself. And Hammerhead used to have really good spotlight, but no. The light sucks. It's almost like nothing. What, what happened? I'm just gonna use my, my top port turret to destroy it. We can just destroy him like that. Shit. And he can't do anything. There we go. He's dead. Thanks to those two scimitar that completely disabled it. It's not about the cinematics of this uh, missile. With the missile cam. It's about the power. The ability to disable our hammerhead with two scimitar. Sometimes one scimitar. I tried with one scimitar one time. Normally with other size 5 missiles, you are not able to destroy the hammerhead. But with scimitar, you can disable it, which is kind of like destroyed it. But you would have to do some follow up. I'm going to find a hammerhead that is in daytime so we can see clearly. Yeah, this at nighttime is really bad, especially in Hearst. It's pitch black. I don't like that. But uh, let's go take care of our last enemy. You can see if you switch to TS2 for the hammerhead, the spooling and the calibration time is a lot shorter than the stock quantum drive. It's really good. Alright, so let's go rearm our torpedoes first. Rearm, let's see how how much co oh it only cost repair takes eight thousand. All the torpedoes cost only thirty seven hundred AUEC? Are you kidding? That cheap for eight scimitar. Just waiting for the marker to show up. There we go. This is a Vanguard Warden. Scimitar ready. Let's see the magic. Fire. Tracking. There we go, it's the enemy. There we go. Hit. Well, its hull is very red, but its EMs recovered. Alright, let's give him another gift. It's so cheap. Let's fire. I can do this all day. Let's go. There we go. He's dead. Oh, that's not our target. Never mind. Okay. This is our target over here. Oh, that's a Valkyrie. All right. We have plenty of torpedoes left for you guys. They are coming toward. All right. Torpedo lock. Fire. Tracking.
direct hit is disabled. Yeah, his EM is down, and I cannot get a lock because his EM is down. So he's falling, and you can see. Yeah, he just hit the ground. He just hit the ground. So that ship is disabled. Uh, he hit the ground again. Oh, well, he's not dead yet. <laughs> All right, let's uh, finish up the battlefield. Oh, that warden is. Let me see. Let's uh, send him a, a gift. It's so cheap, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> I can shoot this all day. Let's give him two. Fire. Tracking. Two of them. Oh, oh. We hit the ground. Okay, he might be behind the mountain. So let's pull up a little bit. Ready? Fire. Ooh, a lot of desync, you can see. There we go, there we go. That's a hit. It's red, completely red. It's EM is down, let's see if it can recover or not. Oh, it's EM recovered. All right, a gift. Gift away. Tracking. don't see the explosion but I heard it all right so let's go for that Valkyrie yeah it's disabled EM is down to 400 something oh completely completely disabled so this is the power of the scimitar missiles disable them completely and just need to finish them up well let's finish them up Oh, no! <laughs> I think I glitched inside my ship. <laughs> okay, never mind. I'm not dead. Mission accomplished. Let's find another hammerhead uh, in daytime so that we can see a better results for the hammerhead. Alright, finally we find a hammerhead that is in uh, daytime and this is an ERT mission and that's our hammerhead. There we go. We have a Valkyrie as well. Let's prepare our gifts. Two scimitars. Fire. Scimitars away. Wow, it's certainly much better cinematics if it's daytime. What? Where, where are you going? You're lost. Oh man, well, first two scimitars are lost. Two more scimitars. Fire. I can do this all day. Beautiful. Oh, desync. Desync. Oh. Oh, that's a hit. Oh, I heard it. Well, the server is getting really bad. This server, a lot of desync. All right, let's check the let's check the hammerhead status. Ooh, it's EM went down to 5,000. You can see it's falling. So yeah, there we go. Two scimitars. I think it's disabled. But uh, let's take care of all the rest of the fighters first. Hurricane, we need to get close to about eight kilometers before we can lock. Yep, Valkyrie, we can uh, we can lock it. Let's uh, let's get him one scimitar. Fire. Gift away. Tracking. Beautiful. Ooh, where are we going? Oh, it's here. There we go. I heard explosion, but uh, it did nothing. I think a lot of desync in the server. Yeah. All right. Tracking. Another one. That's a hit. EM went down. Yeah, you can see EM is only 7,000 something, 6,000. Oh, which means uh, its components are dead. All right, hurricane, lock, fire, tracking. Ooh, oh, it's here. Hit, direct hit. Oh, red, 
<laughs> yeah, it's EM4000. So the Scimitar destroyed all their components on that ship. So that's why they're EM. Because EM is tracking the components. Electronics. The electronics on those ships are disabled or destroyed. So that's why EM is down. All right. This is their hammerhead. And look at that. It's, uh, it's not upside down. So perfect. This one we can board. Oh, I think it's, uh, it, yeah, it's stuck on... On those rocks, so we have to move it because I think the the ramps are gonna be too high. All right, I'm going to do some uh, hammerhead kisses. Hammerhead kiss. Let's go. There we go. Uh, I think we might have to move it again. Second kiss. Uh, this is more like a hug. Wow, you can see those turrets. Well, maybe turrets can hold hands. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, he doesn't want to hold hand. There we go. Well, those turrets are aiming at me, They're trying to shoot, but uh, too bad. This ship is disabled. All right, I'm just gonna land on board that ship. I think it's uh, it's good enough. Okay. So if the hammerhead land like this, it's not upside down, flipped. Um, this is good. You can just open the elevator and get on board. But if it's flipped, it's difficult. I don't have any weapons or anything. But uh, for the hammerhead pal pilot, you can just kill him with your bare fist. There we go. Hello. Yep. Let's punch him in the head. Left and right. Left and right. Yep. Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. There we go. It's knocked out. Mission accomplished. 27k in pocket. Nice. Let's uh, grab his helmet as well. There we go. Maybe I should leave him alone. <laughs> or not. Step on him. Oh, he's dead. Whoa! 500 AUEC for that one step. All of a sudden it's so dark already. How? How long have I been on that ship? Alright, we got back to our ship. We still have two other enemies that we can destroy and make extra 500 each. I'm just gonna have a little bit of fun. You see, it's completely disabled with one scimitar. Oh, there we go! <laughs> 500 AUEC. Well, this is a Valkyrie. This is going to be the end of us. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, let's do it! Oh! Alright guys, so this is it for this video. <laughs> Alright, so this is it, ladies and gentlemen. That brings an end to our battlefield trip in this video. As you can see from those uh, tests that we did, the results are not absolute, but very, very satisfactory for those size 5 scimitars in the Hammerhead. And by the way, there are only two ships, actually three ships, that uh, so far, currently in 3.18.2, that you can switch them to scimitar 5. First one is a Hammerhead, you can have eight of them. And the other two are the Ares Ion and the Ares Inferno. Each of them, you can put two Scimitar 5. We also have two other size 5 torpedo ships, the Envo Gladiator and the Vanguard Harbinger. But those size 5 torpedoes, you cannot switch them off. So that's what I found out so far in this game. So Hammerhead and uh, Ion or Inferno. Well, of course, except the Ballista. And if you do put the Scimitars in your Hammerhead, or your Iron or your Inferno and fire at the enemy ships, they have a higher chance of damaging the enemy ship's components, thus render them completely inoperable. Especially the first and the last hammerhead that we disabled with only two scimitars once it hits. But I did some tests on my own. Some hammerheads I fired, even all of them, I was not able to disable it. I think the reason is because when you first arrive at the mission site, when the server is a little bit lag, the hammerheads are charging their shield. If you fire those scimitars before they can fully charge their shield, those scimitars will penetrate their shield and damage their 
components. But if you give it a little bit of time, if you're fighting those other fighters first when you first arrive at the mission site and you see those hammerheads shield fully charged, at that time the scimitars will be a little bit less effective. But I'm still able to disable them because I think those uh, torpedoes will have at least 50% of uh, uh, damage in through their shield into their ship hulls or components. So the tests are now perfect but they are very satisfactory. You have a higher chance of disabling enemy ship's components, thus render them inoperable. After that, you just have to do some follow-up. But you can do a lot of fun stuff. You can board their ship, you can uh, salvage, you can do whatever you want. You can missile them, you can ram them, you can real gun them, whatever you want to do with them. But the difference between this kind of disabling with the disabling with the distortion repeaters. The distortion repeaters only temporarily disable their components. Thus, if you board their ship, you can steal their ship. After five minutes, you can operate their ship. But this disabling is completely destroy their components. Thus, they will not be able, you will not be able to fly that ship again. Oh, he's dead. Yep, he fell. <laughs> you fell so hard right there. <laughs> this is just mean, but I love it. Like, like it's one thing getting blown out of the sky with a missile yeah. or with lasers. It's just absolutely humiliating when you get <laughs> just disabled and there's nothing else you can do. But it's like, okay, yeah. now they're just playing with her food. That's that's mean. Bye. He's disabled. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Another advantage of using the size 5 scimitars we saw in the in our field trip is they are so cheap, only 3700 AOEC for 8 scimitars. But for 3 size 9 in the Eclipse, as we're seeing right now, they will cost over 11k, let alone the 6 size 9s in the Retaliator. So basically, you can do this all day with the Hammerhead. Yet another advantage is when you fire those size 5 scimitars. If you fire at the enemy Hammerhead, those Hammerheads will most likely not shooting down your size fives. But when you get close, when they when they are shooting at you, when you fire those missiles, they probably they probably the projectile if it hits your missiles, your torpedoes, it will destroy them. But if you fire from afar before they can detect you, they will not be shooting at your size fives. But if you shoot at size nine torpedoes, as a lot of us have the experience, the hammerhead will be shooting down your size nine most of the time. So you have to use maybe sometimes two or three size nines to destroy a hammerhead from afar that will cost you a lot of money if you want to rearm them so look at all these advantages by using scimitar 5 and thanks for mr v for your advice so we are able to have this field trip and have this surprising results in this video if you have a hammerhead or an ion or inferno try it out it's really really fun all right guys thanks for coming along with me for this star citizen science field trip i hope you had fun and i hope the results are satisfactory to you as well i will see you guys in the next one bye now firing now Copy. Oh, he shot your torpedo. Yep, I see that. Yeah. That's actually cool that they can shoot him down now. Yeah, he's, uh, Valkyrie is shooting at your ship. Yep. Okay, I see another. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, you fired. Oh, that was oh, you a bit overkill of, there. Yeah, he fired all of them. Oh. I did. But yeah, that's beautiful. Cool. Why is it when I fire all of them, the one torpedo is all it needs?